So here we are, where are we at right now? This is called Deep Creek. Deep Creek, and Skipper's what are we doing Canyon. right now? We're about to go jet boating. Jet boating. Up and Skipper's Canyon, the famous Skipper's Canyon. It was in Lord of the Rings, and jet boating started in New Zealand in Queenstown, correct? That's right, yep. So we're going where it all started. Phantom product and they were the ones that hooked us up with it. So all the drone shots you saw in this video, Dakota was piloting and they hooked us up with it so we would not have been able to get them without that. So check them out in the description. Super thanks to those guys for hooking us up and it's the go-to place to get anything drone-wise. The way it works is Dakota's actually piloting the drone itself and then I have an iPad actually right here hooked into the controller and it all comes with uh, the Inspire and I'm controlling everywhere the actual helicopter looks and he's doing all the technical stuff as far as where it flies. So it's been a lot of fun and we had to go, I mean we're out in the middle of nowhere so we couldn't bring the big drone that we used to but this was small, compact, we could bring it out here on a boat, get out, stop on this little teeny island, film really fast and then we're gonna go to our next spot and you'll see what happens with that. When we use Chris Newman with Cine Chopper, we have six or seven suitcases we have to bring. And they're all super heavy. Yeah. And this guy fits into one little teeny one. It takes like 10 minutes to set up. In order to get the shots we need, we need the smallest drone possible, but still be able to shoot 4K. It's kind of the Phantom's predecessor, so it's the, it's the newest version that DJI has. This is the dad, and the Phantom was uh, basically the baby child. And it comes with its own camera, actually. And in our opinion, the quality is actually better than 4K on the GoPro. So we're gonna be able to get some really rad shots with that and we can control everything from down here. We won't crash it. Dakota knows what he's doing. Get ready. Am I, am I moving forward? No, you're staying steady. Get ready to start pulling back. Okay, they're coming now, so slowly push back, just really slow. You're doing great. Leaving faster, you can start picking up a little bit. Start moving. Okay, now start pulling back. Hey, cat, we got it. So we're going super fast, up to 80 kilometers around these corners, which is around 50 miles per hour. Right over there, this is a scene from Lord of the Rings when they're running away from the bad guys. Running away from the bad guys, they get down here and they are outnumbered. So they cue the water horses or whatever they're called and the water comes rushing down right there from Lord of the Rings. We're here on location. Let's we'll see what goes down. Skipping rocks. We need rock skipping. Little B roll of what actually happens. You don't want it just to be in the boat. You want to spice it up, fill the lifestyle. I saw them skipping rocks, so I'm like, stop, let me film it. How's everyone doing? We're good. You guys having fun today? Yeah. Yeah. yeah fun. You all look a little bit wet. Yeah. <laughs> Slightly down. Slightly. Had the Best funnest ride. time ever. <laughs> so we were just like going super fast in between 95 canyons. K. 95K. Yeah. So here I am with Gavin. We just got done doing Skipper's Canyon Jet Boat, correct? That's right. So tell us a little bit about the actual canyon and the jet boating experience. You guys came out of Skipper's Canyon Jet today, um, pretty much through the narrowest canyons that you can jet boat on in Queenstown. Full of thrills, high adrenaline, just a good rush. So the Skipper's Canyon Jet Boat ride takes you into a full guided tour into Skipper's Canyon and also uh, gives you a jet boat ride in the narrowest canyons that you can jet boat in in Queenstown. You can jump on our website which is www.skipperscanyonjet.co.nz um, or you can follow us on Facebook. Super thanks to Skipper's Canyon jet boating experience. The super thanks to Gavin, they gave us this ultimate amazing experience. And my first time on an actual jet boat, I didn't realize how fast they could go next to the edges. So it was an adventure thrill ride. So thank you guys, thank you Gavin for the experience. No problem, thanks for coming out Devin. Until next time, but yeah, check them out. Check them out, the link below in the description. And yeah, I would definitely highly recommend it if you have any desire for any thrill whatsoever, or just a good experience, so. All right, so that's a wrap, skippers. Canyon jet. So we gotta go jet boating. My first time jet boating, they go up to 80 kilometers on this river right here. It's super shallow, so it felt like this like most extreme ride I've ever had in nature. 
and we're going right next to Chris and these are some of the best drivers and what they do is they take pretty much a jet engine and hook it to the back of a boat so they don't have the propellers down low so they can go and skim across the rocks. Everyone had a blast. Super thanks to Tourism New Zealand for helping make this happen. This would not have happened without them. Um, so check them out in the description below and thanks to all of our friends that came out to be a part of this video. No one got hurt. We had a blast. We got to film with the drone, the red dragon, and the phantom marrow. So we only had two hours to actually film this video so we had to act fast. Um, and yeah, it was just an amazing experience. Everyone had fun. So thanks for watching guys. Over now.